So over the years, we've recommended that um, one of the most important drainage projects that you can do on your home is to help divert the water coming out of your downspouts, your rain gutters on the house, divert that away from the house. Um, you've seen probably everywhere from a big washout um, where there's nothing to you can buy those prefabricated little blocks that you set underneath the downspout that'll help uh, take away some of the impact of the water hitting the ground. Um, that's better than nothing. Um, the worst thing is nothing. Um, next above that would be the little splash block or a piece of flagstone. Even better still is something like this where the homeowner has come on and they've attached a fitting and then a three inch pipe and then that goes, you know, usually about 10 feet away from the house is a minimum. Sometimes it goes all the way to the street. The one thing about this setup that we don't love, I've never liked this black corrugated pipe very much, especially for this, um, is a weed eater has to come along it. And this area wouldn't be weed eated, but when you see them out in the yard, in the grassed area, when a string trimmer hits this, it'll start wearing on it. And over time, you'll see that it'll absolutely just cut that thing. And then you're, you're, you're back to square one, or you've got to go in and, and do a repair on that. So even something we like better than that is using these, um, this, this sewer and drain pipe, white rigid pipe with the right fitting. This works great. It's what we've done for years. The problem is, I'll show you in a minute. The problem is this, when we got to this house, the pop-up emitter from this down, from this uh, downspout over here was completely covered in grass, meaning that the pop-up feature could not pop up, which means that really very little water is getting outside of this, this pop-up emitter uh, whenever it's being used. It was covered by grass and debris. Then when we opened it up, there was even more debris inside. Something landed in the gutter and then got washed down. But you can see that if this net knots up um, in front of the emitter and then leaves or anything else get behind it, then you're gonna have a serious problem in that the water that's coming out of the downspout is going nowhere. It's going into a pipe below ground, but that pipe doesn't discharge. So that means that all the water coming out of the downspout is gonna spew out right below the downspout. So what we're showing today is um, introducing a bit of a different concept here, which is, one of these uh, leaf guard grates, it's made to where, and I'll show you in a minute when we get it installed, the downspout will allow that, um, that, that um, the, any debris to hit that grate and slide off so that you can keep the system clean and it'll work for you for years and years. So here's the installed um, drainage box. It's got a sloped surface on it, so leaves and old Christmas lights clips will be swept away. We used an open grate rather than a pop-up so we could visually check and make sure that the system stays clear. It also gives a little bit better flow. So if you need one of these systems, please give us a call.